morning guys hi how are you i hope everyone is doing well so i thought i would just come here and do a kind of get ready with me chit chat life update just have a good combo like with you guys i feel like my videos are kind of really fast paced in a sense like i'm always like vlogging i'm always like doing hauls and I really haven't had a chance to just sit and kind of interact with you guys. And honestly, I've missed it so much. So I thought, why not just come here and do a get ready with you guys. And um, I feel like getting ready. And plus, I've got like three videos to film today. Yeah, wish me good luck on that one. I'm just going to get ready and do kind of do an updated makeup routine. It's for the days I actually wear makeup now because we're all in like lockdown and stuff um i haven't really been wearing makeup as such i kind of just been enjoying my skin just being makeup free and you know what i'm absolutely loving it but the days i do wear makeup i like to go all out and actually put makeup on and you know what just feel good about yourself so that's what i'm gonna do today so yeah if you find me looking down um just know that my mirror is just over here so that's the reason why but yeah we have a little guest here his name is silva he's gonna sit and just kind of chill with us and he's currently had his breakfast so he's got a full belly and his time for his morning nap now i don't know if you guys know but cats tend to sleep about 16 to 8 hours no 16 to 18 hours per day so and they usually like awake during the night so the night time is usually when they have a lot of fun run around the house and do crazy things and during the day they just feel sleepy and they just want to have naps that's cats for you have a nap darling okay so um yeah i'm just gonna run through everything with you i've got lash extensions on oh my god the funniest thing happened to me the other day so obviously um if you guys didn't know leicester is the first place to be um this is not funny this is quite depressing you guys like i was depressed when i heard it so leicester is the first place to um be in lockdown for the second time so you're probably wondering girl how did you get your lashes done if you're in lockdown now i'm gonna I don't want to tell you guys this because I want to show it to you guys like real footage real life um so yeah the other day I got my lash lash extensions done and now I'm gonna I don't want to tell you guys how I got it done but I'm gonna show you guys how I got it done in a video let me know if you guys want me to film that for you guys because I really want to film it it's something completely different um I've never ever done anything like this on my YouTube channel now you guys are literally gonna be shocked you guys are not gonna expect it I need lip balm I just realized looking at myself in the mirror I was like she her lips look her lips are looking crispy you know it's uh not a good look so let me add some lip balm on before we start anyways but yeah i let me know down below if you guys want me to um show you guys how i got lash extensions from the comfort of my own house and um yeah that's, that's all i'm gonna say let me know if you guys want to see that because it's so funny but you guys will literally not expect it at all okay moving on <laughs> i don't want to give too much away right i am going to go and move on to my eyebrows now that's kind of the first thing i like to do some well sometimes i like to do my base before my eyes but today you know what i'm going to go all in and do my eyebrows because looking at myself from the viewfinder like my eyebrows right now is really pissing me off i just can't seem to kind of get it right now what i've been loving for my eyebrows recently is the anastasia their brow pomade now this is in shade soft brown this is just like the perfect shade for my eyebrows because my eyebrows are not that dark like they're not black they're kind of like a light brown so we are gonna fill that in if i can find my brush somewhere by the way, if you wanted to get any of these products I'm using, I will leave them all linked in the description of box below. So you can just go and purchase them, like direct links. Um, so just make life a lot easier for you guys. Instead of me just talking through everything, because it's going to take a lot... Oh god, hiccups. Excuse me. It's just going to take a lot longer to like just mention everything. Um, I'll also like mention what brushes I'm using as well down below. So you're probably thinking, wow... Look at that sticking out 
but I look absolutely hideous. Let me just do my eyebrows first and then we'll talk. Okay, so that is me eyebrows done. Now, I just absolutely love this shade for my eyebrows. I feel like I finally found the right shade for my eyebrows because it's been a journey, let's say. Like usually the shades I usually pick up are way too dark for my eyebrows or way too light. But when I went down and um, went to the Anastasia counter, like they literally tried it on and they're like, this is the right shade for your eyebrows. So yeah soft brown and um, if you do want to pick this up please bear in mind you need like the tiniest little bit now my brush was hardly touching the product i was just like literally dabbing a little bit and then going in because it's very very pigmented so you don't need much of it so uh love that okay so you're probably wondering wow your background looks different if you didn't then that's kind of an epic fail but if you did, hi, yes, I have changed our bedroom around and I've moved things and I've organized this bit over here. We've, we've rearranged the bed, like everything looks completely different in this room. Now you can just see a little bit of the background. I don't want to give too much away in this video, but let me know if that's something else that you want me to film. I absolutely love watching like room makeovers and like um, room tours and stuff like that. I'm absolutely in love with like interior design. It's like my passion. Now, something interesting that you probably didn't know, but before, well actually for university, I was really considering um, doing architect um in uni like i just love like just building and like room makeovers and everything like that i just love it so um epic fail though because your girl she got a d for maths so um that was interesting now i have passed it since i like to just point that out there but the thing is with that you need really high grades you need i think you needed like a b for like maths and like a B for in I don't know but it was a really high grade in terms of maths so I don't have enough um points for that so I didn't get accepted so the next best option for me was um videography and photography I did that um at DMU in Leicester if you guys are wondering that is what I did in university. Now, I only did a year and then I was like, no, honey. Because prior to that, I that's when I just started doing photography. Uh, doing photography? Well, yeah, I did photography in my, in my free time, but that's when I started doing YouTube. So I knew how to edit. I, I taught myself how to edit, take pictures, this, that, and the other. So for me, it was not a problem at all. So I don't know. I just found it, like, when I went to university, very basic and... I just thought you know what i don't want to be wasting like what how much was it back then like six grand per year i'm pretty sure i'm not too sure but i think it's more expensive for now probably it's about nine grand i don't know let me know if you're in university how much are you guys paying a year i know it's really really expensive but when i was uh, back in uni it was like six grand a year and i was like i don't want to do this um because I was literally teaching myself how to use a camera and I knew how to use a camera so I was like nah so I left it um, don't get me wrong it was it was nice because I that's something I was really passionate about um, so that was my second option in terms of like courses to do for university that's that um, that's wow my eyebrows look hideous I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it out guys I'm going to blend it out <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much what I do for my eyebrows. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Um, this is the MAC NC15 Studio Finish Concealer. I just use this to conceal my eyebrows. And I'm just going to blend that out quickly. Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. I'm just going to go and brush through them. What's with my hiccups today? Um, this is a clear... It's supposed to be clear, look how mucky that is, ew. Um, clear gel from the body shop. And I'm just gonna brush that through just to kind of get my eyebrows in place because my eyebrows 
are all over the place and they can just shift when they feel like it anyways i'm gonna move on to a base now i have been absolutely loving for like a full base like medium to high coverage i absolutely love the fenty beauty pro filter um matte foundation and i get it in shade it says shake well first i get it in shade um 210 i'm gonna add two pumps of that and then we are going to blend that out now this blender is mucky please ignore how disgusting that is i should have really cleaned it beforehand but it's me guys i uh, i don't prep before i do something i'm just like meh i'm gonna do that yeah this um beauty blender is from morphe and i love it so how are you guys how is everything going with you guys what have you guys been up to in lockdown let me know but you know what it's so sad because beginning of lockdown we were just restricted to stay home and then obviously boris johnson came out here and be like you guys can go out for um unlimited exercise this that and the other and then i was like you know what i feel good about it i went out for like bike rides i went out for walks we did so much fun things and now because the luster is back into lockdown we are back at home doing absolutely nothing which is kind of depressing like if you watch my previous video of like uh, um my weekly vlog and like me going to a strawberry picking that's kind of when lockdown was eased a little bit but now we are back on lockdown and it's quite sad a lot of people like just took advantage of boris johnson like allowing people to go out for a little bit and then the virus just accumulated which is quite sad i don't know what's happening to the world anymore you guys but how beautiful is this foundation though we love that like it's super super high coverage you're probably thinking yo this foundation looks a bit dark for you i always like to go for shade darker than i am because i am super super pale and if i can go for shade darker happy days but this this foundation is beautiful so if you are looking for a matte finish full coverage foundation you guys have to try this out and it doesn't leave your skin cakey at all like it just blends out so like just so seamlessly like it's just such a nice foundation whenever i want a full coverage this is the first thing i always go for is this like this foundation is so nice okay another thing i always seem to wow my forehead is i've got such a huge forehead plasma tv anyone yeah okay another thing i usually get questioned about is my nose ring now so many of you guys since i got it done ask me literally on a regular basis whether it's on a video whether it's like through dm someone always asks me about my nose ring now this is a double piercing so i got my nose pierced twice or right next to each other so this is not just a double ring it's a double piercing so there's two rings because i've got my pierce, my nose pierced twice so yeah um and i love it you know i asked you guys before i got it done on instagram what you guys thought about it should i get it done and so <laughs> funny thing is so many of you guys were like no don't get it done it doesn't look nice so i think it was like 80 percent of you guys said no i think 20 percent said yeah go for it. it looks nice but then sorry guys i had to get it done because i was absolutely obsessed with the look i was like i'm in an RN for ages and then i was like you know what i'm gonna get it done because you know what if that makes me happy then just go you never know until you try and if it doesn't look nice i can just easily take it out you've got a nose piercing you know how quick it is for your nose um hole to just close up so if you take your nose ring out or, or like a stud i guarantee you in a day or two your um your piercing will literally close up your hole will literally close up because funny fact um i've had my nose pierced at least i kid you not six times no way to lie i first got my nose pierced when i was 16 i remember it so funny um i went up to my mom and i was like mom i really want to get my nose pierced blah 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 what do you think and it was a, this was actually in ramadan and she was like no don't be silly like it's just not gonna suit suit you it's just gonna look you're gonna look really chavvy this that, and the other and i was like mom no i really want to get it done like it's something I, I was in school and like a lot of my my friends got it done and i was like no i really want to get it done and she was like no just don't do it it's not gonna look nice but me being a rebel guess what i went to town with my friends and we all got it done and it was so funny but then i came home and i was like yeah mom i'm fine this that, and the other and she was like why are you hiding your face for i was like no nothing she moved my hand and she was like did you get your nose piercing done and i was like 
yes i'm sorry but i really wanted to like it's something that i've been wanting to do for so long and she's like, all right cool and then by golly my dad saw it and he was not happy with it at all he was like amina we told you not to get it done like why did you get it done and that's when i was a rebel back then you guys and now this girl's innocent when she wants to be let's say <laughs> by the way if you wonder what concealer i am wearing this is literally my new favorite love 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 this concealer if you're looking for high coverage concealer beautifully like blends out flawlessly and um, this is the Mikiaji um, concealer in shade 2.5 now i always go for shade lighter underneath my eyes because i like to just highlight that specific area this concealer oh my god you guys is literally my new obsession i was looking for concealer for so long and i found it really difficult because i was sticking to the same concealers like yeah the mac one's cool like the age rewind maybe why did i why did i do that the age rewind i don't know yeah the age rewind um from maybelline that's a good concealer too but like i wanted to try something new and then when i tried this concealer i was like oh my lord it's like a different world completely it's so nice so definitely check them out guys and they are they've just launched in the uk too so you can easily get your hands on it you can thank me later <laughs> i'm gonna go and contour my face using the fenty beauty um matchstick in shade mocha i love this for contouring it just makes life so much easier all right um so that's the contour blended i'm gonna go ooh. what's with me and chucking everything on the floor today i don't know as you can see usually i put concealer underneath my eyes within a second it creases underneath my eyes and now this has been on my skin for i want to say at least two minutes and if you can see closely it has not creased whatsoever this is the reason why i'm absolutely loving this concealer this is not paid not sponsored or nothing like that i just want to mention that they kind of sounded like a good paid review but it's not it's just a genuine what i really think of this concealer hello you cutie pie you look cutie i love it i just literally i'm like, like a little obsessed mom i love it when they roll like when cats just roll and like stretch out i'm like my heart right now cannot take this <laughs> i'm literally like an extra mom but that's how i am why am i um you're right hon where do you think you're going so well where are you going ain't out here messing my bed up are you hope not hope you're not licking your bum on camera oh god let's turn that away shall we okay so now that he's um stopped licking his bum hello hello girl we are back um so yeah i've just blended everything out and everything looks beautiful i'm gonna go and apply a little bit of powder underneath my eyes just to set everything i am going to be using a charlotte tilbury magic powder for this is this can be used underneath your eyes or for your face and that looks like that um this is in shade fur now i'm just gonna apply a little bit um not too much because i hate it when underneath my eyes look cakey like i'm not about that I mean, if that's you, then you do you, boo. But for me, personally, I just... Just not feeling it, you know? Just not feeling it. That's why I love this beauty blender. It's so convenient because you've got this side for the foundation. And then you've got this precise um, size to get right in there underneath your eyes. So, um, definitely, guys, I would recommend getting this beauty blender. I think it was like £8. So, like, not bad at all. I'll leave a link down below for you. But it's literally been a game changer. Alright. So, I think the base is more or less done. I just absolutely love this routine. It just gives me the most flawless looking skin. And you know, your girl is not complaining whatsoever. Um, I'm going to swiftly move on to bronzer and blush. Now, I feel like I've been talking forever. That's me. Like when I, I feel like, because you know what? I haven't really sat down and talked to you guys. I feel like we have so much to catch up on. So your girl can talk forever. Now, I've set you guys up like right in front of the window so i'm not using any artificial light this is just natural light so if you guys can see this is kind of how the base is looking and 
I'm not mad. I am not mad at it at all. I'm going to go and apply a bit of bronzer. Now, this is my hands down go to. I should have got some water up with me. Like, I forgot that this is a very chatty get ready with me video. So, you girls are a bit thirsty. So, <coughs> excuse me. But, oh God, look who's here. Trouble's here. Okay, so we are back. I've let the cat out just in case he pees. We we do not want that. It's not in our bedroom, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm going to be using the NARS Laguna bronzer. Now this is beautiful. It will suit everyone's skin tone. Okay, now that we've done with bronzer, I'm going to move on to a blusher. Now this is the Kiko Milano blusher in shade 101. Uh, zero one in mini divas now this is such a beautiful pinky just like a cute little blusher i thought since i'm looking so girly today i thought i'd go for like a little pink blush look now look how nice that blusher is it's so pretty i love it i love it it looks lovely right so that's the blusher situation done highlighter now this highlighter is something i've been using for ages i can't seem to find a highlighter as good so i have just stuck to the opv um glamorous um highlighter this highlighter is literally the most blinding highlighter ever and you know you what guys it was really really inexpensive you can literally pick this up from pretty Link, a pretty little thing asos if i believe like it's really accessible and you know what it was only a tenner like you can thank me later i'm going to show you how lightly yeah, like it's yeah it's, it's seen better days that's for sure you can just tell that it's well loved so embrace yourself guys because i'm going to show you the most blinding highlighter ever so i've got my brush i'm going to dab a little bit just a little bit okay just a little bit i'm going to show you guys yeah that this is what i mean this is what i mean it's so crazy yeah you can thank me later guys you can thank me later look at this flat surface and then look at this what Pie a bit on me a little bit on my chinny chin chin And then what I do is I get a precise little brush, if I can find one. Yep, there we go. A little brush. I'm going to dab a little bit of that and then I'm going to go and pop it just on the tip of my nose just to enhance my nose and make it just like that little bit, you know, a little bit cute. And then last but not least, what I do is I will add a little bit just in the inner corners of my eyes just to bring out my eyes, especially in the morning when my eyes are looking really puffy, quite tired. This just really opens your eyes up. Okay, so that's that done. And now for eye makeup, oh, you guys are not even ready for this palette that I'm about to show you. It's about to blow your mind. Again, the OPV Beauty. Is a brand that I've discovered, I want to say, when? Like two years ago or something, and it's literally changed my makeup game completely. Look at this. The shades in this palette is unreal. Can we just... Like, it's got every shade you have ever dreamt of. I'm going to go and add this shade over here. This is called Public Eye. It's just a really beautiful... Um, brown and I'm just gonna pop that just on my eyelids yeah so that's pretty much what I would add on a daily basis just a bit of a smoky eye just a little bit on my crease and that's about it for an everyday look where has my brush gone and then what I do is I'll get my little wand and I'll just brush through my lashes just in case I have any fallouts on my lash extensions now last but not least i'm going to move on to the lips um since i look very summery very sophisticated i thought i'd go for a um pinky nude lip now this color is so nice it's called burnt spice this is a retro matte liquid lip from mac it's let me take off the lip balm 
it's so pretty honestly you guys are not even ready for this okay you guys do you see what i mean like how beautiful is this shade it's like a pink a nude a bit of brown mixed in it's literally the perfect shade ever obsessed with how it looks it's not too much but it's not too less it's just the right amount okay so just to finish everything off i'm going to use the prep in prime yeah the prep <laughs> i was thinking like what yeah the prep in prime air matte finish fix plus spray yeah i didn't describe that really well did i okay you guys so this is the final look um i'm just absolutely loving this makeup routine currently it's just everything that i've been loving so i thought i'd come here chit chat with you guys get ready for the day i hope you guys enjoyed um this makeup tutorial and um, get ready with me chit chat life update everything mixed in one and um, sorry this video is so long you know i can literally talk forever but um that's just me um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up as always. And like I mentioned, all of these products will be listed down below for you. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. And that's it.